Hey all, so this video was supposed to come out right after the Lillian one, but my hard drive broke. I was able to have the files recovered, but it took like two weeks to fix. So if I make comments that seem late or the audio sounds different from what you're hearing now, that's why. I'll have more to say at the end of the video, so please watch till the end. Hello everyone and welcome to another Stargate lore video. Since I spent the last video bashing idea from the external media, I thought I'd spend this week talking about something from the external media that I actually like. As such, we are going to be talking about the Gate Hub. The Gate Hub was introduced in the Stargate Atlantis comics. It is a room located in a space station built by the Ancients. In said room, there are five Stargates. Now, there is a bit of an issue here. Maybe it's just me, but I can't really tell some of these gates apart. And I think the reason for this is because of the artwork. Again, maybe this is just a me issue, but the way some of these gates are drawn makes it hard to tell which gate is which. Like this shot here. Is this supposed to be a brand new gate design, or was it just drawn that way? Heck, I actually think there's an error in the artwork. When they first discover the gate hub, they clearly walk out of the gate based on the destiny design but they walked in through a Pegasus gate and later we see a Pegasus gate in the hub. So shouldn't they have entered through a Pegasus gate? That's actually a plot point in the story. With Atlantis being on Earth, it's causing problems because all incoming gates are being directed to Atlantis since it is the most recent gate design. But these are somewhat minor nitpicks about the artwork that can be ignored. If I had to give a breakdown of the gates in the room, I'd say there is a Pegasus Gate, Milky Way Gate, and three Destiny Gates. Something we learn about the hub is that it can monitor multiple gate networks at once, like an air traffic control for Stargates. And that's really it for what we know about the hub. Why was it built? Where is the space station with the hub located? Which era of ancients built it? We don't really know as the comics never really got a chance to flesh out these details. But we can make some logical conclusions given what we do know about it and thanks to an interview Dial the Gate did with the comics writers Mark L. Haynes and J.C. Vaughn and we learn a lot more about the hub in this interview. For example, we learn the space station the hub is located in is either in the Milky Way or in the Void Between Galaxies. As for why it was built, it was the Ancients way of connecting multiple gate systems together, similar to Midway Station but on a much larger scale. We also learn there are actually supposed to be six gates in the hub. This sixth gate is part of a parallel system in the Milky Way. Essentially, it works as an extension if you want to go to other bodies in a star system. Basically, a, a local system. Yeah, you like know, as, if, you, if, you're, if your regular Stargate is the Express, here's one. Here's one that goes from this station to a, another gate that's near this near Earth that we didn't know about before. See, a weakness of the gate system is that you can only have one active wormhole per address. And this means that logistically you can only have one Stargate per address. It is technically and logistically impossible to run concurrent Stargate programs. And it seems, at least the way the comics writers interpreted this, is that you can only have one address per star system. So for example, you can't have a gate on Earth and on the moon since they would share the same address. Now, I don't think the show ever states this about gate addresses, and I'm sure there are exceptions in the show at times, but this does seem to line up with what we know about stargates for the most part. But let's say you did want to put a gate on the moon and have one on Earth. Then you go to Earth's gate and dial an extension for this parallel, shorter range local gate network to get to the moon. This is actually something a lot of people commented on in my Our Stargates Pointless video, having multiple gates or different gate networks near the same address. Now the main issue with this idea was the previously mentioned rule about the one active gate per address and that Earth only has access to two gate networks and can't make more. And that's not even considering the default prime gate issue. I know I'm repeating info here, but I also know people in the comments will continue to argue for this point. And you know who you are. But this parallel gate system seems like a great way to get around that issue. And even though Earth can't make stargates, when they learn how to, it's something they can replicate. And something to note is that the Moon's gate looks more similar to a Pegasus gate over a Milky Way gate. This leads me to a theory that the hub was built when the Ancients were living in the Milky Way. 
Most of the gates in the hub are of the older Destiny or Milky Way designs, but this local network could have been a prototype for the Pegasus model. Maybe the Pegasus gate we see in the hub is not a true Pegasus gate as it was built in the Milky Way. But then the plague happened and the ancients were forced to leave Pegasus where they used the newer model. Again, that is just my personal theory and whether or not it is true, I still love the hub. It feels like a natural extension of ancient technology. After all, if humanity was smart enough to create Midway, wouldn't the ancients do something similar? Just better since it is their technology. Which is part of the reason why I think this idea from the external media works over the Lalin. A race of ancient wraith human hybrids made to fight the Ori just never sat well with me. Even with the idea that they were made by a rogue ancient. Maybe it was just them being on Earth as some told me they liked the idea but felt it would have been better if they were on another planet. Also, according to a commenter, I mispronounced the name of this race. I'm not good at pronunciations, so I tried to have Google tell me how it's supposed to sound, and it gave me... Li Lin. Not sure if that's right, but I thought I should bring it up. Getting back on track, when you hear the ancients made something like Midway Station, you go, yeah, that makes sense. I also love it for the story possibilities. We've had two shows that were spent exploring single galaxies, and this gives us a chance to explore multiple galaxies, similar to what Universe was supposed to do but didn't get the chance. Heck, this could actually be a solution to the Destiny question. Since most of the gates in the hub seem to be based on the Destiny design, maybe the hub can connect to a network close to Destiny, send supplies, or transfer people stuck there back home. The hub can also be used to tie up any storylines in Pegasus or the Milky Way since it has access to both those networks. Basically, the hub can be used to tell new stories in new galaxies as well as wrap up any lingering storylines that the other shows couldn't finish. I will also admit that the hub slash space station kind of reminds me of DS9 a little, and I would love to see a Dominion War set up in Stargate. Like, imagine they start exploring other galaxies with the hub, but in one of these galaxies, they come across a massive authoritarian empire that also uses the Stargates. And once they learn of the hub and that there are other gate networks in other galaxies, they try to expand out their empire, which results in a massive multi-galaxy spanning war. Imagine a situation where the Tari need to turn to the Wraith for help since they are the only other major faction left in any of the other galaxies that could stand up militarily with this new empire needing to give them advanced hyperdrives or access to the hub in order for them to be moved to the front line. We need each other. The Lucian Alliance agrees to side with this empire and is given the tech to stand up to the Tari, launching a series of attacks on Earth and its various allies in the Milky Way, both sides sending their agents to other galaxies to have them join their respective sides. A second battle at the Ori Supergate as the humans of the Ori Galaxy attempt to send their warships through to turn the tide in Earth's favor. You've had a lot of time to plan this, haven't you? Mm -hmm. But that's just my perspective on a new Stargate story that could be told with the Gate Hub. What do you all think about the Gate Hub? Do you like it too and like to see it introduced into a new Stargate series? Or do you think it would make Earth way more powerful than it already is? And if you do like it, what story would you like to see be told with the Hub? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below, leave a like and subscribe, follow me on my social medias, and remember... Travel time, a little over 30 minutes. Cue applause. Thank you, enough. Hello all, thank you for watching the video till the end. It means so much to me that people are willing to watch my videos, I love reading your comments and seeing so much love for Stargate, a franchise that doesn't get as much love compared to others is always nice to see. Unfortunately, I don't have the best news on that front. See, the biggest issue I have when making content on the channel is, well, just justifying the time spent on it, as it's time and energy not spent on other things. And normally I wouldn't care all that much. But I have forces bearing down on me, that means I have to care about this stuff now. When my channel got monetized, my hope was that I would be able to use the money I got from that to justify working on the channel. 
And it seemed at the start I was able to do that. But a lot of personal things happened near the end of June and beginning of July that meant I couldn't work on content that hurt me in the ad revenue. In fact, July in general has really hurt me in that regard. And look, I work in content production. I get this happen sometimes. Time is needed to grow a channel. And I don't want to require people to watch my videos if they don't find the topic interesting. But unless I can justify working on this, the channel is going to fall back into that state where I can only post like once a month at best, and at worst, three to five months or so. Now, don't worry too much. I'm never going to stop making videos. But unless I can turn this around, that will become the new state of things. So in order to try and fix the problem, I have decided to set up a coffee. This is a way so if you want to support the channel, you can. I don't expect every subscriber to donate, but if a minimum of 200 people donated $5 every month, that would be enough for me to be able to keep working on videos and find ways to increase their quality, like in improving this little PNG I'm using here. Now do keep in mind, the coffee right now is set for donations and tips only right now. So don't try and give me $120 and message me hey, I gave you $120, do a video on this topic. If you try that, I will refund the money. I do plan to set up a system where if you pay me X, I will do Y. But before I do that, I want to hear what you all would want to pay for. I looked into some options and have some ideas, a Discord, reviewing specific episodes of SG, joining me in some of the games I might play. But I saw someone offer their fans to look at their scripts, and I was like, who would pay to read someone's script for a video? So yeah, before I set up the rewards and stuff, I want to hear what you all would want as a reward for paying to support the channel. I will update you all about those once I hear back from you, but don't let that stop you from donating if you want. After all, tomorrow's my birthday. One last bit of news is I am setting up a Reddit, as things seem to have calmed down over there. Turns out a long time ago, I did set up a subreddit as well, but people didn't join, so I just ignored it. I will leave links for those in the description. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to me. Check out both the Reddit and the coffee, as well as my other socials. I hope you all have a great day.